Let's listen in right now to Congressman Amash, who's talking about reading the Mueller report. A sitting president. I think that's what the founders believe. So even though uh, Mueller presents all of these elements, he lists them, lists them in his findings and analysis, he doesn't come to any assessment because he says, well, we can't indict a sitting president. And he didn't think it would be right to leave an open indictment like that, to leave open charges like that without being able to actually go forward with an indictment and not give the president then also an opportunity to defend himself through the legal process because it'd just be sitting there uh, during the president's tenure. So he really left it to Congress to come to a determination on these issues. And what I'll say is that in the Constitution, impeachment is a special form of indictment. It is not a criminal indictment. So we're not saying when we proceed with impeachment, if that were to happen, that we're charging the president with criminal accounts. It's, it's not about um, criminality. So even though Mueller's report makes clear that there are elements that meet criminal standard. That's not what impeachment is about. It's a, it's a finding that someone has violated the public trust. So the Constitution talks about uh, treason, bribery, and other high crimes and misdemeanors. And when you go back and look at what the framers of the Constitution said and, and early American scholars and even current American scholars, uh, they're pretty consistent on this, that High crimes and misdemeanors re refers not to specific statutory crimes. And in fact, when the Constitution was written, there were uh, basically no federal statutory crimes. The federal government wasn't really involved in criminal law. It was primarily uh, state governments and, and uh, local that would be more involved with criminality. But... Um, You've been listening the to the opening remarks there of Republican Congressman Justin Amash, who does represent, uh, among other parts of, of Michigan, their Grand Rapids. And he's taking head on this issue of impeachment and the fact that he's explaining what impeachment is and what it isn't. Uh, frankly, I think it's a very useful constitutional um, educational exercise, probably for those folks now. Hello, YouTubers. If you're watching this, it means you've checked out our channel, so thank you. Now do me a favor. Subscribe by clicking on that button down there. Click on any of the videos to watch the latest interviews and highlights from MTP Daily and MSNBC. You can get more Beat the Press content every morning in the First Read newsletter. If you're tired of content that you don't know anything about where it came from, you don't have to have that problem with us. NBC News, MSNBC, MTP, and the Meet the Press mindset right here for you on YouTube. Subscribe now.